Eric Newman pleaded guilty to murder today. Tamara Tucker he started strangling Tucker and then pushed her over the railing. Being a train wreck, it literally turned the taps off. Um, the cruise ships, they literally having to cancel cruises, send people back home. If you're a travel agent, you will legally have to get them back, so you have to pay for the cost of the flights. It's cost me an absolute fortune. You know, as an extension of the uh, quarantine was going to be put in place, we actually uh, got moved up to guest cabins, which was, you know, Fortunate for us, but not every single crew member actually got to do that. Some crew members had to spend 15 days in the crew cabin with no windows, yeah. you know, no fresh no air. No fresh air, no sunlight. We were stuck on the ship for 70 days. Imagine you're been stuck in your office for more than one year. You cannot go home to be your, with your family. Imagine the suffering, the pain. I'm working 100 hours a week, doing different things, delivering food, delivering furniture, doing house removals. Between Royal Caribbean, Carnival and Norwegian, they're hemorrhaging a billion dollars a month. Authorities believe Uber driver Jackie Gordon Wilson dropped a family at the airport, then returned to burglarize the home they just left. I'm sorry to that man. What are you I apologize. It's too late for Tone Tone. That's how this 16 year old is known on South St. Pete Street. He confessed to beating and robbing an 83 year old man Tuesday, leaving him black and blue. But he denies stabbing him. Instead, Tone Tone, who's been booked under his real name, Antonio Peterson, is blaming his 13 year old brother, Xavier. The teens are suspected of returning to the man's house just hours after the initial attack and stealing his car. They're trying to kill somebody or. Hurt somebody, it's terrible. For Tone Tone, lockup is a place he's used to. He's had previous arrests for robbery and assault. He even had an active warrant on an unrelated case when he was picked up today. Police explained that because he was never charged as an adult in those cases, he got a slap on the wrist and went right back onto the street.